You are now tuned in to another Mysterium broadcast. Today's mystery, how to get Portal Knights up and running on Apple M1. On the previous episode of Mysterium Broadcasting, we learned how to install Crossover for our M1 Mac. Then, we installed Steam and enabled a setting called DXVK. This allows us to run certain games that don't have a native macOS version. I'll link that video in the description for people that need to get crossover up and running with that DXVK setting enabled. Once you have Steam running through crossover with DXVK enabled, we can continue getting Portal Knights to run. First, we have to create a missing text file for the game. Open a text editor and input this information. I'll give you a second to pause the video here, or you can also download the file. I'll have it in the description. It'll be called Portal Knights Configuration File. Now, save the file to your desktop and make sure that it is named portal underscore knights.cfg. Now we need to copy this file to our Portal Knights folder. Right click Portal Knights in Steam, select Properties, now find where it says Local Files, then click the Browse button. This will bring us to our Portal Knights folder. From here, click Mac Desktop on the left hand side. Highlight the Portal Knights config file we just made, go up to Edit and copy the file. Now we need to get back to our Portal Knights folder. Click the Back button, now go up to Edit and paste the file into the folder. Now that we have the missing configuration file, we can go ahead and install Portal Knights on Steam. Once you have the game up and running, we need to change some graphic settings, otherwise we'll see some texture bugs. I'll give you a second to copy my graphic settings here, but please make sure to copy them perfectly, otherwise you will get graphic bugs. You may be able to increase some graphic settings, but I haven't tweaked it too much. I know these settings work, so try to copy them. By the way, enabling VSync gave me really good FPS boost. I have no idea why, it's really odd. But there you go, copy the settings before we get in game. All right, and there you have it, another mystery solved. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, or go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Until our next mystery, take care and be excellent.